Hey there, I'm Kyle with the Babylon Bee. Yeah, we're still in Twitter jail. Sad, not good. You don't even want to know how I got this recorder in here. We got thrown in here for a pretty terrible crime. We gave Rachel Levine our Man of the Year award. We were just trying to honor such a great man. Pretty heinous, right? But we're making do. You know, we've even been able to continue publishing articles with this laptop that someone left here in Twitter jail. As you can see, my time in the big house has really hardened me. I've got tattoos now. I got this teardrop for owning a lib. I got a skull on my neck. And they even made me get the Always Maxi Pads logo on my arm. I went ahead and made this shiv out of a Carmen CD. It's been rough here on the Slammer. But I've been doing what I can to get by. I started brewing my own Corona beer in the toilet. It's pretty easy. You just pee and then throw a little lime in there. The group showers, of course, they're a little scary. I've been really careful not to drop the soap. Hey! No homophobic comments! Oh, yeah. I can't say stuff like that in here. But don't worry. I've got a plan to get out. I'm digging a tunnel behind this poster. As soon as I finish it, I'll be as free as the Taliban, Vladimir Putin, Kathy Griffin, the Chinese government, and all the other wonderful people who are still out on Twitter. But the suspension hasn't been all bad. I've had a lot of time to think during my time behind Twitter bars, and I think I even came up with a third joke for the Babylon Bee. Like, what if there was this hobbit who identified... Ah, it's the same joke. What's that? I'm Elon Musk. I'm here to rescue you. Aren't you a little white for an African-American? Ah, who cares? Oh, thanks so much, Elon. Hey, would you do us a solid and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Are you a purveyor of fine goods and a patron of quality entertainment? If so, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment to support the fine institution known as the Babylon Bear. And if you don't subscribe, you must be one of those unfortunates who can't even afford an in-house sommelier. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Reginald, bring the 1906 Salimois Qu'est-ce que tu cherches?